so when you will launch the VS code this type of window will appear you can read about it more but let's just close the file so this is your visual studio or VS code editor you can write your code in a normal notepad or any text editor but with visual studio code you get extra superpowers like syntax highlighting debugging features and also the power of extensions so let's first open a project folder you can either click on the file and open a new folder open a new file you can also create a new file and create a new text file you can also create a new window or open a new window for visual studio code so let's just first open a new folder you can also use the keyboard shortcuts like Ctrl plus K and Ctrl plus O simultaneously. So let's just open a folder. So I'm go going to open my my block folder and just select the folder. So my block folder will be opened by VS Code. Now let's first look at the installation button for extensions. You can add different types of extensions. Just click on the extension button and search here junior IT and just click on the install button so it will automatically install the junior IT extension for you you can read more about the extension and then you can visit the extension by just clicking on this icon so this extension has three parts the assistant where you can ask any question the code section where you can write code with different languages available and you can directly run the code without installing any thing extra and there is one translate section also available now this is one file explorer you can just click on the file explorer to see various types of files and folders inside your repository or project folder there is one search button also in which you can search for a particular text or a code just write the text or the code it will search among the available files and when you will click it you can access the file that have the particular string text or the code you can also click on the terminal and create a new terminal there are various types of terminal available like git bash according to the terminals or the system that you have installed in your machine so I have Ubuntu Windows subsystem for Linux you can write your bash commands and you can watch in the explorer see we have created a new test folder create a new terminal from here and you can also delete old terminals or the terminals that you don't use from here so see we haven't installed the dependencies so that's why it's also showing us the error so that's the power of a VS code editor you can make changes to your file and then using Control plus s you can save the changes using Control plus z you can undo the changes just like a normal text editor in VS code you can also open images along with these options you also have option to connect your local VS code with your github code spaces just click on this open a remote window button and then choose github code space so it will automatically install one extension that is needed to communicate with github code spaces then you just have to verify your github account and then you can access your code spaces just like this when you will click on it it will open that code space for you 